Right now, a Pennsylvania man is on trial for the worst mass killing of Jewish people ever in the U.S. It happened in 2018 at the Tree of Life Synagogue in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. The anti-Semitic attack is part of a growing trend nationally and statewide. The Anti-Defamation League reports 33 anti-Semitic incidents in Indiana last year. That's about double the number in each of 2019, 2020, and 2021. It's a worrisome trend that has caught the attention of some prominent Hoosiers. As Debbie Knox with our partners at CBS4 shows us now, those Hoosiers are saying enough is enough. The images of little Eva Kaur and her twin sister walking together in Auschwitz to be experimented on by Dr. Mengele is part of the horror of the Holocaust. These are pictures never to be forgotten. If you don't know history, you don't know what's going to happen in the future because history is repeating itself. Clara, who is Jewish, needed no history lesson. But I found others, much younger than her, unable to answer some basic historical facts. When I say the word Auschwitz, what does that say to you? You know, I'm not really sure. When I say the word Holocaust, what does that mean to you? Um, all of that. I don't, know. I don't know. What about the word Auschwitz? What does that mean to you? Mm, so, not, not all. The Anti-Defamation League conducted an audit of anti-Semitic incidents in the U.S. There was a 36% rise in harassment, vandalism, and assaults targeting Jewish people from 2021 to 2022. Precisely, 2,717 incidents in 2021, nearly 3,700 incidents in 2022. It's the highest number since 1979. And Indiana was part of that trend. The ADL reports anti-Semitic incidents here in Indiana rose 106% from 2021 to 22. 16 incidents two years ago, 33 incidents in 2022. We had a, for what was Bloomington, a big increase last year. We had a number of anti-Semitic in incidences last year. Rabbi Sue Silverberg is talking about a case of vandalism on the IU campus last year. Mezizas, a symbol displayed outside Jewish students' rooms, were ripped from doorways. This on a doorpost. Eight groups have held a rally in downtown Indianapolis. A Carmel synagogue was spray painted with a Nazi symbol in 2018. These kinds of attacks have not gone unnoticed. One woman from a prominent Indianapolis family has taken up the cause. Rachel Simon is buying and putting up billboards. The first in Fountain Square. The second along I-465 on the west side. We have to be loud and you know make our case and be clear that Indianapolis is not a place that will tolerate this, despite uh -huh. the hate groups that have recently marched down around the, the circle. Her billboards simply state, Indy is no place for Jew hate. And the billboards urge viewers to take action steps. The first one is, is simply educate yourself and others. Like I mentioned, what is anti-Semitism? How does it function? It morphs throughout time. Uh -huh. So it's really important to kind of understand that it's not just religious hate, it's hate. And it's not always hate. It's, like I said, mostly through conspiracy theories. Now, when I was out recently talking to people, some of what they said, I have to tell you, was shocking. Some of the interviews that I did, I felt deserved a response. What does Auschwitz mean to you? I don't know. So I asked Megan Maurer, a Jew herself who lives in central Indiana, to watch this last interview and then give us her reaction. This is what she saw. You know who they say is the best? Who? Hitler. Oh my God. Come on now. Here we go. So what's your reaction? Um, my reaction is I, I'm sad to see this. Um, but I am not surprised to see this. Anti-Semitism, it begins with Jews, but it never ends with Jews. And I think it's, it's, it's a warning sign to all of us. 
Now, one of the main points that multiple people I spoke with on this story emphasized the real point of all of this is learning about what actually drives anti-Semitism. They don't want confrontation yeah. as much as they want education. Well, it's startling to see people say things like that so right. brazenly, too. Mm -hmm. There's a national conversation really right now about this, from, from the White House to even the, the NFL. That's right. The president speaking about it just recently. Robert Kraft, the owner of the New England Patriots football team, is backing a project called the Blue Square. You might see it on social Social media, there it is. It's similar in that he wants to show people that anti Semitism is dangerous and people need to learn about it. So, to learn more about what you can do to fight anti Semitism, we have included the other four action steps on that billboard campaign here in Indianapolis. It's on our website, fox59.com. Debbie Knox from our partners at CBS4, thank you so much uh, thank for you, that Debbie. eye opening reporting here today. Thanks. Truly Thanks, insightful, Debbie. Debbie. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah.